everybody from the Stratton Mountain Fire Tower. And we got a sunrise, baby. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my goodness. Look how beautiful that is. <laughs> yeah, baby. I managed to get up early and get us these nice little sunrise. Look at this. And the last two times I've been at Stratton Mountain, everybody, I've been clouded in. So, this is perfect. Look at this. Sun's getting ready to pop, baby. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, everybody. It's going to be windy. But it's going to be worth it. Trust me. <laughs> Look at that, baby. How beautiful. shot baby oh my goodness look at these things there's the caretaker's place Looking to the west. That's what the sign says, anyways. <laughs> awesome, everybody. Stratton Mountain Fire Tower. Sunrise, baby. Alrighty, everybody. One last look at the views from this fire tower. Glass is dirty. <laughs> yeah, baby. Now let's get down out of here. It's going to be windy, so bear with me. But the views are going to be better out here, trust me. It's not dirty glass. There we go. Hey everybody. Get motoring. Yeah, baby. That was awesome up there. So, yeah. Figured I'd show you sunrise from Stratton Mountain Fire Tower. Look, everybody. You can read this. You can pause it if you want and read it. Pause it if you want to read it. 
awesome. Here's a little caretaker hut. Yeah, beautiful up there. So that's where the caretaker stays. All righty, guys. So that was pretty sweet up there at the top of Stratton Mountain. And now I'm just on the downside. I figured I'd come back and give you guys a little trail time. Since I hiked all the way up Stratton Mountain in the dark, you didn't get any trail time. Uh, yeah. Now I know why I get up early. It's because of that right there, everybody. Sunrises. Yeah. I think I'm gonna get into my old routine again because that was well worth getting up early, everybody. So yeah, now I'm just on the downside of Stratton Mountain. Um, and I have no idea how far I'm gonna go today. I never do, so that's a good thing. I figure around three o'clock in the afternoon, I will figure that out. But I'm just gonna mosey today I got what I wanted, baby. The sunrise from the fire tower. Cause like I say, uh, the last two times I've been up there, it's been clouded in and raining on me. So I didn't even go up in the fire tower. But this time there was no way I was not going up in that fire tower cause it was beautiful. So, all righty guys, we're gonna touch base and uh, yeah, guess just touch base with you. Let you know what's going down. Well, what's happening, everybody? So, figured I'd been walking for a little bit. I haven't got you guys out, so. Yeah, figured I'd give you a little trail time. And it's amazing how good of a mood I am in today. Maybe it's that, maybe a good sunrise will do that to you. I don't know, but yeah, you couldn't wipe the smile off my face today if you wanted to. It's kind of crazy. I'm loving it out here. And this trail has been pretty nice, actually. When I climb, I like climbing up mountains in the dark, actually, in the morning. Man, I cruised right up Stratton Mountain, like... I was in the fire tower waiting for the sun to even do anything. So, yeah, I went up way faster than I thought. Because in the dark, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a mental thing that you just can't see the climb you're doing. And you just go. Just go for it. So, maybe it's a mental thing. I don't really know. But I know when I climbed Albert Mountain, coming northbound in the dark... I cruised right up that thing too. Didn't even feel like I was climbing. So maybe I should do big climbs like that in the morning in the dark. And uh, Vermont hasn't been that muddy. I think it's pretty much dried up. So, alrighty guys. Before I break you out, show you trail for a while because, yeah, I haven't done it. What's happening, everybody? Check this little trail out. It's so nice. There's like no rocks or roots. It's like perfectly flat. Yeah, super nice. It's times like these on trail when I can really enjoy one of these, baby. Banana split. So. <laughs> Yeah, pretty good too. 
it almost has a banana flavor to it instead of like sugar flavor. <laughs> so, yeah. Figured I'd come back, give you guys a little trail time. But it's been looking like this pretty much all day. So, yeah, I think we're going to be in the woods quite a bit over the next couple days. We'll have a couple of view spots here and there, but pretty much just going to be tucked in the woods, baby. So, yeah, it's part of the trail. Can't get views all day, every day. So, this is still cool, trust me. Alrighty guys, oh look, there's a bridge up here, I'll take a picture of it. Check this out everybody, it's a little side trail. Like a little bog up here or down here or wherever I'm at. I haven't got my bike guidebook out at all today. I could care less to look at that thing today, to be honest. So I'm just gonna go off signs, I think. I don't know, maybe I'll get it out when I stop for lunch or something. Who knows? Cool little bridge. Yeah, this is neat walking around this little bog. Look, I think we're gonna get another shot at it right here. Uh, kinda, I'll show you. Not really. Still cool though. Alrighty guys. Figured I'd show you. Story Spring Shelter, everybody. Look, so we left trash here. Craziness. I'm gonna sit here for a minute. Ah. Yeah, baby. Story Spring Shelter. It's a, uh, huh. I'll give you this view of it. Boom. Check this out, everybody. That's where we came from. Look. Hold on, let me get to this view spot. I'm gonna show ya. <laughs> yeah. This is awesome. Check that out, everybody. Holy cow. Yeah, we're gonna walk around it too for a minute. So. Yeah, we're just walking around this pond. Or whatever it is. It's beautiful though. Check this out, everybody. It's just a little other side trail of this, like marshland or bog or whatever it is. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, just a tiny little side trail. See, here's the AT. That's where we came from, that white blaze. <laughs> and this is where we're going. 
this white blaze. Sun's kind of messing it up, but it's on this tree right here. See it? Yep, that's where we're going, everybody. Check it out, everybody. That's where we came from. Look. Got a little bit of views. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I don't know if I told everybody. Uh, they're calling for rain this afternoon. But whatever. Rain don't bother me, I guess. <laughs> so, howdy, guys. I'm to show that cool view. So we ain't getting money of them today. <laughs> He's on the move. How cool. What's happening everybody? So, figured I'd come back and let you guys know that it feels like it's going to rain on me at any second now. Oh, shit, here comes the rain. Wow. Umbrella. All right, let me get this pack back on. Get my umbrella deployed, everybody. What's happening, everybody? So, it only rained on me for like 20 minutes. Like, my feet didn't even get wet, which is awesome. But yes, I'm still carrying my umbrella because I figure if I put it away, it'll start raining again. And I don't want it to start raining again yet. I mean, it can, it's fine, but. I'd rather hold off till like I'm in my tent sleeping. That's the ideal time for it to be raining. <laughs> Check this out, everybody. It's like the sun's out and it's raining on me. <laughs> yeah. And those rocks right there were slippery. Yeah, sun's out, raining, strange. Doesn't seem like it's gonna last though, so. I'm still nice and dry. Okay, now it's raining. <laughs> yep, it's raining for sure. That's all right. I'm hot, so hopefully it'll cool things down. Yeah, we're going up to, uh, there's a fire tower glass, man, I just had the name of it. I'm the tip of my tongue. Glastonbury Fire Tower, I think that's what it is. So I'll go up it when I get to it, and hopefully we'll get some views up there. But right now, like I say, we're just walking in the rain, baby. About to start singing. Check this out, everybody. We are in a cloud. <laughs> it looks so cool in here. We gotta be coming up on that fire tower pretty soon, so. Oh, pushing through with my umbrella, everybody. 
Yeah, once we get that fire tower, I'll climb up it to show you guys. Maybe the views are clearer. <laughs> yeah, right. But let's just hope for like the cloud to just blow out for a second. And then we'll get the fire tower views. Two fire towers in one day, that'd be awesome. So, all right guys, time will tell. We are so close to it, though. I know we are, I can feel it. Check it out, everybody. Look at all this camping up here by this fire tower. Holy cow. Not more than four persons allowed on this tower at any time. Please be careful. It sounds sketchy. I like it. Let's get up there. <laughs> okay, everybody. There's no glass in this fire tower, so it's windy. And it's blowing rain, baby. Weather's not so great. <laughs> I don't even know why I went up there. That was kind of dumb. Because it got me soaking wet. I was dry before that. And I went up there. And I almost blew my umbrella wide open. So I had to tuck that thing away. And as soon as I got up in the fire tower. With no windows. So the rain just blasting in. So I had to get my raincoat on for a second. But yeah, my shorts are my shirt is probably soaking wet I couldn't do anything fast enough We're just blowing rain baby <laughs> what a cool experience though it was windy too so and if there had been windows in there I'd have hung out in there for a while but it was a breezy up there it's a lot better down here on trail so hey right, guys we're almost to Goddard shelter uh, yeah, it's right on trail too, so. If it's not slam packed with people, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, everybody. This is the Goddard Shelter. This is a pretty nice shelter. I'll give it that. I like this whole porch area. So if you remember, in 2018, everybody, this is the only shelter I stayed in going northbound. One shelter. Whole trip. I got to figure out what I'm going to do starting to rain even harder I'm like 28 miles away from where I want to be at tomorrow so I might just go another 8.5 or something in this rain and just just suck it up and go for it but I'm gonna get some snacks out right now and hopefully this rain will let up a little bit I doubt it though oh look at this cool little coat rack it's not a coat rack, it's for backpacks. Yeah, not very nice out. Alrighty guys. Let's go do another 8.5 I guess. To the next shelter. <laughs> yep, I'm willing willingly going into the rain. 
but whatever. I got an umbrella. I'll stay dry. So, alrighty guys, I just gotta stop right here and get some water, and I'm good to go. <laughs> What's happening, everybody? <laughs> yep, it's raining pretty good. So, I don't know if I'll go all the way to the shelter or not. I know there's a couple water sources on the way to it. I could just get a little stealth camp somewhere. But yeah, this, it's raining pretty good. <laughs> uh, I forgot how fun this was. I'm not hot anymore. That's a good thing. So. Yeah. There's always something good about it. It's never always bad. So. Alrighty guys, let me uh, continue to push on here in this little rain. Who knows, maybe it'll stop. I don't think it's gonna stop. Oh yeah. Alrighty guys. Yep, still raining on me. Check it out everybody. Entering the Glastonbury Green Mountain Wilderness. Yeah, baby. And yes, it's still raining on me. Feet are soaking wet, but. Woohoo, yeah. It's a blowing rain too. It's like gusts. So, I got my umbrella pulled tight to my head. So it's not blowing it off. Or blowing it backwards or whatever. And then I'm leaning into it too, everybody. Keep me drier. So. Alrighty guys. I'm just playing in the rain. What's happening, everybody? So you want to know the good thing about having wet feet? Well, the good thing about having wet feet is not worrying about having wet feet. <laughs> yeah, done worrying about it. It's so much easier when you just like, I've said it a million times, just go for it. Because you're gonna, your feet are gonna get wet, especially in Vermont. The rain, yeah. I said it earlier today, I think it was today, maybe it was yesterday, Vermont mud ain't that bad. Well, yeah, until you get rain for hours, then it gets pretty muddy. <laughs> but whatever, you got these days, that's for sure. And it's actually not bad. It's not like it's cold or, yeah, it's perfect temperature. So, I'm not complaining one bit. Could have been like the weather on Franconia Ridge. I'm probably gonna keep touching back on that weather because I think that was the worst I've experienced. All right, guys.
awesome. I think he's trying to get to somewhere dry. Good luck, buddy. I don't think there's anywhere dry right now. Not out here. I think it's going to rain the rest of the day. I'm almost positive of it. The trail is super wet. I don't know how much rain we've gotten in the last little bit of time, but boy, it's a lot. <laughs> it's hilarious. I wasn't even close to any road or nothing that I could get into town. So, yeah. this is what it is. Actually, if I really pushed, I could probably get to, whoa. I could probably get to a road, take me into Bennington. But, that's kind of pointless because I would be getting in there about, I don't know, probably seven o'clock at night, which would be almost dark so no i'm not going into bennington i sure did think about it though trust me so yeah everybody this is exciting What's happening everybody? So we're going on like five and a half hours worth of rain. Yeah, that was a grouse that took off. I don't know if you saw it or not, but yeah. Long time walking in the rain today. But that sunrise I got this morning kind of makes up for all this. So Slip and slide, slip and slide. Alrighty guys, if you're gonna touch base and let you know, I'm still in the rain. Check this out everybody. Power line. But, look. Ho 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 ho! Doesn't that look cool? Yes, it does. So, yeah. It's one good thing about power lines, everybody, is there's views. Mm. Looks like it's lightening up rain. Look at that, everybody. Sweetness. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna call this home for the night. I'm gonna get some water right here and mosey my way on back and find a tent site. So that's where we'll be going in the morning, everybody. Sorry, that was fast. <laughs> What's happening, everybody? So I decided against camping at the shelter and decided to push to the road. Um, I'm gonna hit you to town, so yeah, that's what it is. So I figured I'd touch base, I'm like a mile away, not even a mile away from the road, so I should be there at like I don't know six, I'm guessing. If I had to guess, tromp through all these puddles first, yeah, so change of plans. I'm not going to stay at that shelter in my tent. I'm going to just go into town 
and see what I can do. So, that's what it is, everybody. Figure to touch base. Man, everybody, I cruised down that downhill. I went so fast, it was crazy. Probably pretty dangerous, too, but check this bridge out. It's pretty awesome. How cool. Here's this way, too. Oh, here's a road. That's weird. The AT used to always go. That's so weird. This is the William O. MacArthur, William D. MacArthur Memorial Bridge, anyways. But the trail used to always go right there, everybody. So this is the first time I've crossed right here. So, all right, guys, let's get my hitch on. What's happening, everybody? End of the day recap. Day 39. If you remember, I left that little stealth site right at the base of Stratton Mountain. 551.1. Now sitting at Vermont 9 in Bennington, Vermont, everybody, at the Catamount Motel. There's a whole story to go along with this, so hang tight, everybody. Okay, and that's at 579.2. Makes it a 28.1 mile day, everybody. And like I say, I was not planning on coming to Bennington, but after walking in the rain for five and a half hours, I got to that shelter, it's still sprinkling. Uh, so I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna push to the road, see what happens. So I pushed to the road, everybody. As soon as I got to the road, I was like, let me just look in my guidebook and see what's available. So I called, let me check, I gotta check the room key, look. Room three, baby. Catamount Motel. So, what happened is I called the Catamount Hotel because they offered free shuttles to and from Trailhead. So, they came and got me. Uh, Al was the driver. Super cool, nice guy. So, as soon as he pulled up, he said, a northbounder? And I said, no, I'm, I'm a southbounder. He said, well, I said, I used to be a northbounder. I said, then I turned around and started walking back to Georgia. And I said, I did the long trail too. And he's like, ah, oh, I think I know who you are. What's your name? I said, well, my trail name's Hawk. He said, well, there's a guy that does a lot of trail magic around our town here in Bennington that has been following you on YouTube. So I thought that was pretty sweet. So on the way into town, everybody, I had Al drive by. I said, hey, can you do me a favor? And pull them through like the first fast food restaurant you see. So, on the way to the fast food restaurant, everybody, Al called this guy that's been following me on YouTube, uh, Steve LeBonbard. Pretty sure I got that right. Uh, anyways, called Steve, let him know I was at the hotel. So, when I got to the hotel, everybody, I went to check in. And uh, the guy at the front desk said, your room has been paid for by Steve. So... Man, that was awesome. And then Steve actually had a, uh, he's working second shift. So he had a lunch break. So he came here to the hotel and met me at like 7 o'clock. Perfect. Super nice guy. I mean, yeah. Steve, you're awesome, man. And we sat there and talked outside the hotel for like an hour or something. I don't even know. Uh, but Steve LeBombard, uh, I'm positive that's his name. Thank you for this hotel room tonight. Pretty amazing. And the great conversation we had, I mean, it's perfect. Just what I needed after a tough day of rain. <laughs> so anyways, everybody, I'm going to stay here tonight. And then in the morning, Steve's going to come get me at 7 a.m. We're going to go out to breakfast. And then he's going to take me back to Trailhead. So tomorrow, everybody, I'm going to try to bust out of Bennington, back to the trail. Uh... And then try to go, not try, I'm going 19.5 miles to get me into North Adams or that other town, Williamstown. I think I might go to both places. I don't know. We'll see. Because tomorrow, everybody, I've got another visitor coming. This is crazy. 
I'm loving every second of this, so. Yeah. End of the day recap, everybody. My video's getting long. It was day 39, 28.1, baby. And Steve LaBombard, man, thank you so much for hooking up in Bennington. I guess he knew I was about close to here, so. Uh, yeah, as soon as he found out I was in town, he took care of me, everybody. So, appreciate you, Steve. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's it, everybody. We had a killer sunrise this morning on top of Stratton Mountain Fire Tower. And then, yeah, six hours of rain or something like that. <laughs> no, it wasn't a light rain. It was a heavy, blown rain. So, that's what it is, everybody. Hope you guys had a great day. And I'll touch back with you guys after breakfast, baby.